All right. Good morning. I am David H. I am your host. We have another uh, video here for you I'm going to do. This one was sent, uh, suggested by a subscriber off the uh, Facebook page. Uh, David H., Melissa H., David H. and Melissa H., husband and wife trucking across America. This is from Breach Trucking. It's why I left Prime Inc. early. The truth and nothing but the truth. All right. Warning, the views expressed in this video are not meant to offend anybody. These videos have been collected from various platforms. We don't have any rights over these videos. These videos are my reactions and opinions. If you are really sensitive, this channel may not be meant for you. Alright, let's get started. Okay, here we go. Breach trucking. Yeah. What's going What's on, everybody? everybody? Welcome back once again for another vlog. <laughs> for those of you that have okay, not been here before, well, well, let's stop this. Uh, now, you guys didn't get uh, didn't get the um, beginning of this video, but it was just his logo, very blurry. And this is the first image I got. First of all, I think I see a Texas, Texas sign in the back there. Yes, it is. So right on. Go Texas. I can see why he left. I don't even know. I didn't watch his video. But number one, look at this. He's got a microphone, a freaking microphone the size of his head <laughs> in front of his face. Headphones on. It looks like he's probably in a, the basement or bedroom or something. You left early because you don't want to be a truck driver. You want to be a radio host. But let's go. Let's keep going here. Jesus Christ. Well, well uh, I said last, last time, time that I would talk, talk about, about uh, you know, why I promote those videos, but I'm going to take the time, as I said, to talk about why I left early. So it's really simple when you think about it. Okay. Make die drive time. Okay. I'll, uh, all right. Back to it here. Um, now. First off, it's 21 minutes long. We ain't doing 21 minutes on this thing. There ain't 21 minutes why you left Prime. So we're going to try to fan through this thing. You know, the whole reason for going into uh, Prime was not Prime itself. And I didn't let any outside influence, um, you know, bring me. What okay, I didn't want to know why you're ready for was exactly how bad prime is and the fact that you know people are not honest about it a lot of these people are not honest about it um you know i'm and, honest and about it. my checks i mean some checks were great some checks were not okay let's pause it right here let's get this guy out of uh, off the, on the screen here so you guys can get good view of what he looks like with this microphone all right anyways all right so i see this is going to be a hate on prime video and Guys, you make trucking, you make trucking what it is and talk about YouTube and whatnot. You ain't making no money because you're too busy playing on YouTube, trying to be a YouTube star. Okay. When you got to be out here running and running hard to make good money. I make great money. I made great money as a solo driver. I made great money as a, 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 a lease driver. I made great money as a trainer. I make great money as a team driver. Because I run. That's why I don't have all this YouTube content with all this fancy editing and big ass microphones and everything. Because I run. I work. I don't. I, I, <laughs> oh my God. Every time somebody has problems making money, it's generally, I would say 98% their fault doing it can things cause you to have bad checks here and there absolutely that's trucking you know you run into moments like this where i've been stuck at this uh picking up a load for two days because their product isn't here um 
So things like that happen, but that don't bankrupt you unless you're living paycheck to paycheck or unless you're worried about making YouTube videos and you sit, you know, after you get, after you finally pick that load up, you got to sit half your 10 hour break doing YouTube videos. Now you don't have enough sleep. So now you can only run six hours the next day. Whether this is what happened with this guy or not, I have no idea, but let's continue on. <laughs> And over time, uh, when you're there, it is true. Eventually, the it will start to dwindle down. You really have to fight to try to make um, it up, to make more money. Um, and the thing is, is that you're not fighting on a competitive style with other drivers, lease, owner ops, or anything like that. No, no, no. You're battling your dispatchers. You're battling your company. I will... What? say that the second dispatcher when i had swapped it out you remember when the troll said um you can't switch dispatchers and i did it anyway okay. you can switch dispatch time, I you can switch dispatches the problem is if you're switching dispatchers you're you're the already the type of person who can't work things out not saying that there's not reasons to flip uh, switch dispatchers but you guys you got to remember you may your dispatcher makes money based on how well you perform so these guys oh they want to starve me they want to do this they want to do that it's all nonsense they make their living off of the way you perform i had made, I had the, made decision the decision that, that I, was I was not gonna, not gonna um live out the out. entire uh, longevity of the lease yeah, and i wasn't, I wasn't even, even gonna, gonna go, go for one, one year. year i had, I had decided, decided that look i'll i'll, I'll try, I'll try this, this out for about, about a year. year if it doesn't, if it doesn't work, work out, out you know you then um out. You remember, out. remember when, the, when troll the troll said, said um, you can't switch dispatchers? And... So well, let, let me let me dive troll. deep into that. I've already well, talked about like, look, I was setting myself up on two paths that I wanted to be on. Okay, I have. We know you can switch dispatchers. So I, Oops, I forgot to bring the them money back was in. the same almost at close that chapter for good. Okay, and uh, but I needed hopefully higher income, and I said this before in other videos. Okay. But I, I understand some of you, I, there's been some new subscribers and I appreciate the support. So some of you may have not seen those other ones, but you know, um, this right here, first off, is going to close the chapter on the prime videos. Okay. It's going to close that chapter for good. 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 But, um, you know, yes. I pretty much went into it, um, you know, because I needed a more flexible schedule, hopefully higher income. income. And at the same time, I said, you know, I'm going to make my channel a part of this. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do, I'm just going to have fun with it. So it is, oh, yeah, perfect. It is, you know, it's called a job for a reason. You know, it's your, it's your livelihood, your income. Let's not, you know, let's not uh, screw around with our money by worrying about making YouTube. Now, I know some of you are going to say, but David, you're making a YouTube. Yeah, but guys, you know how I make YouTubes. They're quick. They're not elaborate. Don't spend too much time on them because I do it for fun. I'm not trying to make money at this or make a living or anything. And man, I need to shave. A little bit more money. And that's going to get me to where I wanted to be. With the flexibility, I was able to shop around. I was able to, you know, look at other places that I wanted to live, that I wanted to go to, check out the markets in different places. That's what it gave me the opportunity for. I can't keep coming home and then the yard is right there and it's I'm a company driver. And they expect me to go back out after two days or whatever. Like, I need more time. You understand? I needed more time. And I needed that flexibility. Okay. One of the words. Expect to go out after two days. Number one, you get uh, a day. Every seven days, you get a day off. They like you to only do it at four, you know, four, uh, uh, four days at a time. Most people don't want to stay out more than four weeks at a time. They'll stay out three or four weeks. But when I was a company driver, I never had a problem, you know, like if I stayed out three weeks and said, hey, you know what, I'm going to be home for four or five days. I really didn't get an issue with that, that I don't know if that was my fleet manager or not. I didn't do it a lot, though. Um, so that could be also, it wasn't like I did it every time I went home. Usually I was only going home for a couple, uh, a couple of days at a time. Let me kill this beeping. Okay. Let's continue. Worst, Worst things thing. about OTR or anywhere OTR, OTR is how you're treated like a slave. You, you have absolutely <laughs> no life. And no, the, oh my God, I you're treated as a slave. Here we go. The average income for a company driver, especially nowadays, brand new, is going to be about a thousand bucks a week. Yeah. Okay? And and even yeah. still, I have people in the comment section that's like, bro, I've, I've been. Now I was making a thousand bucks take home. <clears throat> was my uh, was my four week average the few times that I checked. 
but you'll make a little bit of less, you know, here and there. Slow season comes, winter time, you probably make a little less. But a thousand, a thousand dollars a week take home isn't nothing to slouch at. Okay, and and even still, I have people in the comment section that's like, bro, I've I've been doing this for a long time now. You know, I mean, I, I don't know. Is I thought he was going to say that people in the comment section was saying they were doing it for a long time now, but it sounds like I've had people in the comment section. He pauses. And then he says, I've been doing this for a long time now, and he starts laughing. So let's see if, if he means him doing it for a long time, because from what I understand, he didn't even make it a year. But let's see. What else to tell you? Okay. There, there, there's nothing that you're going to tell me that's going to convince me otherwise. And I'm yeah. fucking sick and tired of people coming to my channel trying to speak to me, trying to speak down to me, as if I'm some brand new fucking noob straight out of school. Okay. okay. I started driving... He's gonna love this. All right, so here we're gonna get his we're gonna get his um trucking career here. So maybe he's driven somewhere else, but from reading this, why well, I left prime early, meaning he didn't fulfill his year. So, uh, late two thousand seven, 2000. early two thousand eight. So do the why is he angry now? You notice how he just got angry? Because people come and uh give him give him uh, their opinions. Well, if you're on YouTube, expect that. Yeah, exactly. If you want to put yourself out there. You need to expect criticism, <clears throat> constructive and otherwise. Now, if you've been doing this since 2007 and you don't know what trucking's about yet, you might want to find a different career. Now, I haven't watched this video, but something tells me he's going to start talking about going local or something, the way he was talking about being a slave OTR. But let's see. Math, you know, because you know, that, that, really, that, really, that really pisses me off. So let's shut that down now, too. OK, well, <laughs> what ended up happening at Prime was a multitude of things. If you remember the original video where I talked about how it was day one and Homeboy was yelling at me. Do you remember that? And I said, I can't allow that. And, and I immediately said, you know, I if agree. Breach Trucking is not going to make money or be able to manage, then uh, Breach Trucking is going to have to get the hell out of here. I don't agree about talking about yourself like that. Breach trucking, breach trucking. You know, that's just... Uh, I have to go somewhere else. Okay, because I am headed toward my destiny. I'm headed toward my goal. And, yep. and I bow before no one. So that's not going to work out for me. Mm -hmm. Okay? The problem with Prime, Ace 2 business class, is that... They I bow before no one. Okay, having an attitude that people want you to bow and be their slave and all this stuff is already the wrong attitude to be going through life with. Because you've already mentioned that you're, you're, you know, OTR is your slave when you work, and now you think somebody wants you to bow to them. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a wrong outlook on life here. Okay, let's keep going. They are actually misclassifying workers exactly what they were sued for i had to give them a cease and desist after i left so let's talk about leading up to that obviously the guy had yelled at me so i was having problems already with this dispatcher the dispatcher thought that he owned me the dispatcher was trying to treat me like a company driver and i'm not a company driver right i mean i am where i'm working at right now but over there i was not a company driver Okay. I've never Get been a company it. driver. Let's go. You've, you've made that point. Um, basically, I've never been a prime driver. I didn't get trained at prime. I didn't fucking, I was already a truck driver. <laughs> and uh, so that's something that hopefully some of these trolls uh, will understand. I was not a prime driver at all. And in, okay. in this very sense of the word, everything that I've ever done, everything that I've ever shown, especially when I'm. So he's never worked for stuff, prime. That's I thought me. That's that not was me. the whole thing is he's showing you prime, prime driver. Topic. Exactly. That's what I'm getting at is if you work for Prime, you're Prime driver. Exactly. So did you or did you not work for Prime? It sounds like you worked for Prime because your fleet manager yelled at you, which by all means, I don't, <laughs> I wouldn't put up with that nonsense either. So, you know, okay, that's fine. Not putting up with the fleet manager yelling at you, but well, you haven't said why he yelled at you yet. I mean, did you come in here with an attitude of, you know, some weird attitude and he, he, put you in your place or what let's see let's go that's me me prime, prime didn't, didn't teach, teach me a damn, damn thing, thing okay? okay so, so i went I there went for a, a specific purpose and from day one homeboy was yelling at me that was okay, the you first already problem. said that okay and i immediately said this isn't going to work out with yeah. this guy 
I swap that guy out. Okay. I switch out the dispatchers for another dispatcher. That dispatcher ended up being better. But in between that time, they wanted me to go to an ACE2 business class. The day before the ACE2 business class, one of their operation managers attacked my religion. The guy oh, was, get the hell out of here. Let's hear this. They decided to tag team on me. And I was like, you know, because they're trying to bully you. And uh, I said, uh, okay, look. I knew, I can see him taking that whatever they were doing as this just because you can already see he's got a certain way of viewing life. Am I am I am I wrong? Uh, am I wrong with that or uh, the well? You haven't been listening, have you? I'm listening. Okay. It's now, the window, do, you, listening. do you see that he's got a certain view on life? Yeah, kind of. Woe is me. Yeah. Okay. That's. Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Talking about. You know, yeah, it's my company. You don't own it. And they kept trying to put themselves in a position of power. And I finally had to say, what are you talking about? I don't have a contract with you. Breach Trucking has a contract with you, which you are violating right now. Shush. <laughs> are you freaking kidding me? They're offering they medical. They offer SB. medical. It's, it's through a third-party company. And it, it's offered. Okay. Yeah, are you? Have to take it. Hold on. They also have... Uh, uh, a CPA in house doesn't have anything to do with them. They're just renting the spot and they're a trucking CPA. So are you pissed about that too? They have a doctor's office in there. Oh, you're probably pissed about that too. Chiropractor pissed about that. Oh, they have a cafeteria. You're probably pissed about that because you know what? Company drivers eat in cafeterias. I, I just can't believe. I mean, I'm just dumbfounded with this nonsense, dude. You really, really need to stand back and rethink things. All right, let's go. This is, look, I'm starting to turn red, I'm sure. Their uh, abacus services, that's a, that's fucking, a fucking employee. Oh, and when I was saying shut up earlier, I can't remember what, I was so excited. I was telling him to shut up because I couldn't get it to pause. Oh, Just no, in case anyone thinks I was telling Melissa to shut up, I wasn't. Yeah, no, I know, but I, you were talking, I think you were talking at the time. And I'm like, shut up, shut up. Yeah, no, I was telling him to shut up because I couldn't get it to pause. And <laughs> I got excited, sorry. <laughs> and now I feel like freaking Trent Brent trucking dude because he doesn't have a contract contract bridge trucking does his name of this it's, channel it's, is bridge trucking bridge breach bridge, sorry breach trucking and that's him just like right him. so i assume that's the name of his business so he's gonna try to pull one of these it's not me it's them but yet it's still the same person all right what this okay this is whacked out now you are in breach of your own operating agreement you're in breach of my company's operating agreement you're in breach of contract it's null and void at this point if i choose to walk away I wasn't trained by you. My CDL is number one. If you weren't trained by them or anything, you there is no contract that you don't have to that you have to walk away from. You just walk away. There's 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 nothing saying you have to stay there. Um, you can just leave. And I bet they were happy as hell when you left because your attitude, man, is mine. I didn't fucking train at your company. You don't own me. I can go anywhere the hell I want right now. But I chose to come here for a specific reason. It's a walk away leap. And then I came here for a specific reason. And then to sit and probably, he probably told everybody this. He probably gave this speech to everybody he talked about Prime. You know, his fleet manager, the, uh, uh, he said operations manager. He probably gave him this exact same speech uh, of how you don't own me and you don't this and you don't yeah, that. But, and do you think anybody's going to want you to work with them or they're going to. not the enemy. No, he's, ma he's making. Him he's probably. If we go back to d different YouTubes that he's done, he's probably got a lot of these from different companies. I don't know, I don't know, but yeah. Please. I said, I'm the one that's got to answer to the, to the comptroller. I'm the one that's got to pay taxes, not you. It's my company. And then they shut up. They realized <laughs> I had not taken at all any cash advances. I took zero cash advances. I took no advances of any kind while at Prime. Okay. Good. I, I left myself in a position where I didn't owe anything. Okay. Good. And that pissed them off. And around that time, no, that's didn't. when they started saying, yeah, he's a well, maybe person. we're not for you. Maybe, maybe you should start. Maybe we're not for you. Maybe you should start looking. Uh, maybe you should start looking for some, uh, something else. Man, I can't believe they didn't tell him to get stepping from day one. If he talked to them, like he's talking to this camera right now, 
That is so unprofessional, number one. It's childish. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. You need to change your views on life. Nobody's out to get you. Yeah, because he's so special. Exactly. You, you ain't a CIA agent. You ain't a foreign spy. You're not uh, working for the FBI. You're not uh, Hannibal Lecter's nemesis. I mean, come on, really? Yeah. I Who mean, for you? exactly. You're but, and, <laughs> Kicking your ass, <laughs> Oh, I just get so fleared. Oh man. Looking elsewhere. Maybe, maybe, maybe you should just go then. Maybe that's when they started saying that bullshit. Yeah, go. And so um, get a, get, they were, they were trying to, you know, curse at me and everything on the phone, and they realized that it wasn't working. So one of their operations managers. Curse at you. Wait, hold um, on. You know, when I'm listening to this, I don't believe that for one minute no. that they're sitting there cursing it. Did he say curse at? Yeah, him? curse at. Him. Okay. Get the hell out of here, make believe. You're another make believe YouTuber to make you're gonna blow things up to make your channel pop. Man, do you know Captain Morgan? I'm just wondering, do you know Captain Morgan? Because he likes to do the same thing. This I looked, I looked up, up and I'm praying to God. I looked I up and I'm like, Jesus. Jesus. You know, you know Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Mm. And I'm looking, I'm looking up, up and I'm praying. And I'm praying. And that's and when that's one of them stops and says, "Oh, you you don't say that name. You, you you don't you don't say that name. How dare you curse at me?" And I said, "I I didn't curse at you." And he's like, he's like, "You just cursed at me right now." And I said, uh, "No, I said Jesus Christ. I mean, really, the, the the Lord's name bothers you." And he says, "Um, oh well, I'm okay." He's claiming earlier that they. <clears throat> you know putting him down for his religion or anything if you were religious you would be talking that way you don't sit and say jesus christ okay well he said he was praying i think he was talking he said he looked up and said jesus christ i think he's talking i don't think he used it in vain i think he means that he was praying because he said he was praying right no 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 that's what he said he was praying yeah. but this is what i'm getting from it uh -huh. he's sitting there you know how you get mad oh jesus christ right right and he's just saying he's praying i for one minute i don't believe this guy was praying right not right. for one minute not with his views on life because if he had god in his life he wouldn't look at the world the way he looks at the amen, world amen brother i mean come on <laughs> <laughs> i'm offended because you don't use that name in vain and i'm like that's not using that name in vain he said well i'm a christian that offends me and i said well i am a christian sir and he turns around and says I don't give a damn what your religion is. And at that point, I stopped speaking. My oh, civil right had been violated right then and there oh from Prime Incorporated. So and that was the beginning Jesus. of me dissolving Breach Trucking's relationship with Prime. Thank I'm sorry, God. but if you want to fucking need business guys partner, like you at Prime. the last thing you should do is insult their family, their religion, and their creed. Because the moment you do that, you done fucked up. And I stayed quiet, and I didn't say anything yeah. to anybody. You're right. If they did. And they got awkwardly quiet on the phone, and all of a sudden, they were willing to bend to my will. Yeah, they said, right. just do this uh, ACE2 business class, and then we'll get you a new dispatcher. That's how it went down. Because he knew at that point, since he couldn't get under my skin, and since he just fucked up, he knew that he was going <laughs> to go I down to that. Then, I, then how come, let me ask you this, and how come a driver I know simply said, you know what, I'm not... I'm not uh, 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 meshing with my dispatcher. Can I get a new one? Sure. Do you have anybody in particular? Yeah, I would like this person. Okay. Boom. Come on, man. You expect me to believe this nonsense you're throwing out here? I mean, a lot of people are going to believe you, you know, because they, they don't know any better. And there might be some other people that had a similar experience at Prime with you because they probably still they, they probably have your attitude. Attitude gets you a long way, and your attitude, this whole video, has been crap. Now, I, I, I know I sound like I'm bragging on you hardcore, but, I mean, dude, really? Watch your own videos. I mean, do you talk to everybody like this? Do you have this angry attitude and, and, and whatnot through, through your whole life? I mean, I'm just curious. Well, it's almost like he thinks he's entitled. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. So... Yeah, I went to I their ACE2 business, business class, class, which basically, which basically was there was just to convince you to continue to take cheap freight, to continue to operate, operate like a company like driver. driver. And now if you look at what? federal law, yeah, I know. if you look at what... Okay, ACE2 class tells you how to manage your fuel economy. 
they want you to run, you know, yeah, they, they make sure to, to talk to you about uh, doing your taxes. Um, they give you pointers on things. Is it a great class? No, I don't think it's all that. I mean, do you learn? I mean, if you don't know anything about business, it might help you out a little bit. But yeah, they preach fuel mileage. They preach keeping your costs down, uh, yada, yada, yada. But they... <laughs> Uh, company driver. Uh, an independent. <laughs> now he is a company driver. That's probably what he needs is to run a company. You know, to to be at a company where he's just a company driver, yeah, a and he doesn't have any stresses over his head of lease. Contractor actually, actually is. is. Prime, Prime is, is knowingly, knowingly going, going against the law, and they don't they give don't a give shit. Them. Okay. okay. They think that they're above the law. So what are they doing? They have longevity programs, which they dis which you discover in the ACE2 business class. There's like longevity incentives and programs and stuff. And while I was there, they were trying to defer payments. You know what that is? A deferred payment? That's a fucking loan. So yeah. I said, I don't want deferred payments. Yeah. We're going to the why are you act why are you acting like they were forcing it on you? You know what it is? They just asked. Yeah. You. Hey, nice do you way. do you want to have a defer for coming to this class? We can defer this payment over X amount of weeks. You can make a little extra money this week. And it's your you don't choice. have to do anything. Yes. You know, if they were forcing it on you, and then listen to this. Oh, they have longevity programs. Oh, bad on them. Bad on them to say, hey. If you stay here X amount of time, the longer you're here, the more, you know, you'll make. When I, I'm up to almost $24,000 on this lease, and I'm going to get a big chunk of uh, lease completion bonus. I got three months left on this lease. I'm going to get a big-ass chunk of it back, um, which is great. Also, they've, inve they've uh, invested uh, uh, money under in an account for me that if I'm there 10 years, I get that investment. Um, what else do they have? They have other things. Um, they have a lot of perks. If you can, yeah, there's all kinds of perks. I can't think of them right now. Day, stuff like that. That's what yeah, I but let's let's go ahead and keep going on this. This is I might do the whole twenty minutes of this video. This guy's just golden. To this class, and I was like one of four people who really understood, who really got it, who really knew what was happening. Okay, yes, a lot of people don't know what deferred means, so they should probably they should probably explain it in a way that some people need it explained. You're right. A lot of people when they hear that first because you didn't mention your first week of uh uh lease is deferred, and a lot of people think that means free and they run around doing nothing for the week and then wonder why they get in a hole. But that's on my lease video if you guys want to hear more about that. And that deferred payment also, a lot of people, even lease drivers, are living paycheck to paycheck. And if they're doing that, then they go, oh, yeah, right. I want a deferred payment. Exactly. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, you'll take that deferred exactly. payment because you make more. The problem is, is you, now you're getting less out of your check each week. So do not, do not try to take that deferred payment if you don't have to. It's your choice. Okay. It seemed like, it seemed the, like rest the rest of the people, people were kind of just, just so stupid, stupid or they just drank the fucking Kool-Aid. <laughs> you know, it, it's true. See, in the beginning, and, and people were going to hate somebody because, because they think that they're outspoken. Yeah, big but then once they realize that that person is actually a leader who's following their own path, maybe maybe that will motivate more people to do that. Because if more drivers stood up and said enough's enough, I'm not going to put up with this shit, and actually was honest about the stuff that they went to, <clears throat> but see, most drivers don't have your attitude, so they don't see these problems you're seeing because they get treated with respect. You got to remember, you got to give respect to get respect. Okay, and a lot of this thing, a lot of this stuff you're talking about, deferred payment, uh, uh, longevity bonuses, you're acting like that is bad. You uh, went through, excuse me, instead of being highly political. I mean, we get lied to enough by politicians. We don't need other people lying to us, right? But this is what I discovered. They have longevity incentives. That's not a contractor. That's a fucking employee. They're offering medical that you can buy from them. That's a fucking employee. They really, really, really oh want God. you to use. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Everything they want you to use, everything they want you to do, they own it. That's a fucking employee. You Listen. They can advertise it. They can give you a contract that says you're a business owner that says all this, but at the end, you're still an employee. Once I once I saw, okay, because based on everybody, you were leased on to Prime, dude. You were leased on to Prime, okay. If you don't want to be leased on to Prime, get your own truck, get your own authority, 
and do it. But there ain't no company. I shouldn't say there ain't because I haven't researched a lot. But you can't go over to uh, Warner. Okay, you can't go over to Warner, lease a truck, and then go pull for Prime or go pull for Schneider. That's not how. Oh, my goodness gracious. On what's, what's in the contract, and I still, I still have, have a copy, a copy of, it. of it. So you can't yeah, you sit can't back and say, oh, well, well you well, probably well, just didn't read the contract. No, no, I read, I the, read contract, the contract, just like I read, I read my military, military contract. contract. Just how just I know, because I re up, so I had two of them. The second one was shorter, but the, the first one. Thanks for your service in the military, because anybody went to the military, thank you for your service, is because I can only imagine the horror you were to deal with was a thick and i'm gonna tell you right now right and now, in my in first my contract, contract there was, there was no, no fine print. print when i hear uh, someone say well, you gotta read the fine print there was no fucking fine print it was all Arial 12 i don't know what the fuck you're talking about eventually the army switched back to times new roman okay right. so no, i mean it, 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 experience no no, no some, some of us some are actually smart, smart enough to see the scam once it's presented, presented in front of our face and it's not really until the ace 2 business class that you really see that so yeah yeah prime incorporated is guilty of taking on people classifying them as contractors but actually treating them like employees and if somebody has the balls to come in and say i'm a business owner i am a contractor and you know what i started my llc before i came here now a lot of you uh lease guys that might be watching this video um you know this guy's full of crap yeah now <laughs> It's so funny that he's so upset that they treat you as a company driver because they offer, uh, uh, it's not even they're offering really, it's not them, it's not there. They have available to you this other stuff. I mean, it just makes me nuts. You can you leave anytime you want. You're not committed to anything. You, you walk away from your lease and they give these walkaway leases because they realize they got a lot of guys who don't understand life. They don't understand business. They don't understand a lot of things, but they want to give them an opportunity to do better in life by letting them start their own little uh, uh, business of uh, 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 lease operator. Fail, fail, fail. They don't they like don't you like and they want you to go away. away. A lot of a lot people of that people go to that Prime, go to they, go to Prime they go to Prime, and Prime Incorporated helped them get their LLC, helped them get their sole proprietor. You know, um, in, in reference... You. Like, if like you if went you through, through them, them to get it, they own you. No, they don't own okay. you, dude. That's but, normal. You know, you know. That's normal CDL stuff. Look, you can go get your CDL outside of a trucking school, Prime, Swift, Schneider, Knight, whatever, and pay twenty five hundred to five thousand dollars, whatever it is, can not get in one. And it was twenty five hundred bucks. But when I called, uh, I called. Uh, I think it was Knight and Prime. It didn't qualify. It didn't have enough hours on it. To qualify, you still had to do the PS uh, TNT training because it wasn't. I was going to get my full CDL everything ready to rock and roll in a week. Now, Prime, you can get your CDL in two weeks. The problem is, is yeah, you got your CDL, but they know you don't have the experience, so they run you on that TNT. Okay, you can't just get a CDL and just go work somewhere as a driver with no experience. Okay, so if you go through a trucking school, you don't pay for it, and what you got to give them a year of your life. Oh, do your research, people. Find a trucking company that does uh, CDL training. Go through it. Save that money and, you know, give them a year of your life. You ain't going to, even if you pick a bad school like CR England, well, you know, you can still survive that year. But anyways, I'm going to have to wrap this up. We're getting ready to go. There's only five minutes left on this video. So let me just bump through it here because we all know. It's going to just be more of the same. Hate, hate, hate. Woe is me. Everybody owes me everything, and I don't need to be a decent human being I, to everybody and uh, have a bad attitude. So let's go. So day one, man, I was yelled at. Day one, yet yeah, day one, I was disrespected, yelled at by some fucking yeah. dispatcher. Sure, you some were some fucking dispatcher. Okay? Sure, you were. Unless um, you talk to him like leading you're on saying to that, now. the second event was my religion was insulted. Mm -hmm, sure it was okay I mean, you think prime would make it through life if they had uh people insulting people's religion and and screaming and yelling at them and all that stuff i've never i've never been yelled at at by anybody at prime oh wait i have respect for people oh wait i don't think that everything should be handed to me on a silver platter this this guy is just out there that's it right there
All right. All right. And, then and then the third, the third and final thing was, was, I realized that I was misclassified. Okay. What they wanted was an employee. Okay, we'll end it right there. <clears throat> Let's get this guy off the screen because I'm just, just dumbfounded. We'll end it right there, guys, as you, you see, because he gave you the three reasons and whatnot, and he was treated like a, or they wanted an employee. <laughs> I don't care if you lease to a company. They want someone to work for them, okay? Yeah, an employee. I don't know if I got that. Employee. It's a person who, you know, it's a person, us lease operators who work for a company or another person, okay? That's a definition of employee. Now, when you throw lease in there, now you have other rights that employee, you know, someone who is employed to a company don't have. You have with, you know, as a lease operator, you have the opportunity to make more money. You have the opportunity to lose more money. You have the opportunity to say when and where and why you're doing what you're doing going home. You can take any route as long as you get the freight there on time. Nobody gives an F what you're doing. You can burn 80 million uh, gallons of fuel for five miles. No one cares, okay, because you're a lease operator. It's coming out of your pocket. Now, if you were an actual employee, they would have your ass for every single one of those. So let's stop with this. Oh, they want you to be an employee. They want you to work for them. You just don't understand business, man. Just, you know, I'm glad this video is over. No disrespect to you, man. I know this is coming off bad, but you just watch your own video. Just watch your own video. Anyways, people, like, comment, subscribe. Good comments, bad comments, but don't be nasty. If you get nasty, they get. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, because I did, I really did.